Hello and welcome. This modified tutorial is all about image guided generation. It will show you how to use some of Modify's creative tools as inputs into an AI image generation. The image we're going to make is for social media, so I've started by setting a portrait canvas. And then I'll add a rectangle to the canvas as a background. I can use the command bar at the top of the screen to add a two color gradient to the rectangle I just added. And then position where I'd like the gradient to start and end. Then choose which colors I'd like within it. I'm going to choose a really bright combination of light blue and pink for this. Looking great. Next, we're going to use one of Modify's vector tools, pen. If you've used any other drawing or illustration tools, you'll find the pen tool very familiar. Once I've set my color and size, I'm going to use the pen tool to draw some curves and lines on the canvas. By double clicking the path, I can edit any of the data points to get exactly the shape I want. I'll speed this part up. Okay, great. Now the background is prepared. It's time to add a foreground. I'm going to use Modify's stock image browser to search for some nice typography. I can simply select the image I want to use, and then click Add to Canvas. I'm going to use Modify's background remover to remove the green background from this image and leave the word behind. Cool, that was easy. Now, I'm going to alter the color of the word so it stands out more in the image. I'll do this by adding an HSL modifier to the typography's layer and altering the hue until there is a good contrast with the background layer. Nice. We're almost ready to use our canvas in an image guided generation, but first let's select all of the project entities and add them to a group. Then, I'll use the marquee selection tool and mask the group. With the group selected in the layer tree, I can select the marquee tool from the toolbar and then drag over the canvas to create a selection. I can then right click on the layer tree and click apply mask. Okay, excellent. Now we're ready to add our image guided generation modifier from the command bar. As with all modifiers, they act on everything that is below them in the layer tree. I'll set a text prompt of paint splashes, graffiti. And then select the style of image I'd like to create. Next, I can choose the resolution of the output image and choose which aspects of the input image should be used. In this case, I'd like to use both the colors and the contours of the image. When I click Generate, Modify will take the image provided as inputs and use it to generate new images. I can view each image in the canvas by clicking them in the tray. By lowering the opacity of the output image, which is sitting on top of all other layers, we can see how the contours of the original pen strokes and image have been used to create the new output. Okay, this is looking good. But let's try some more options with image guided generation. If I duplicate the existing guided generation layer, I can change the prompt and style again. This time, let's try something that looks a little bit more 3D. And apply a paint style. I'm going to alter the seed of the generation to make sure the output looks different to the previous image. When I'm ready, I can click a generate again and see new image variants. Now we're using the output of the first image guided generation as an input onto the second. Again, if I alter the opacity of the guided generation on the top layer, you can see the new contours and shapes that have been used as inputs. Okay, this is looking great, and we're almost done. But, I think we can make some improvements to the typography as we've lost some of the contrast and clarity. So let's get that back. I've duplicated the typography layer that we enhanced with the HSL modifier and placed it at the top of the layer tree so it sits above all of the other layers. We can now alter the modifier again to make the color of the typography almost white. This time, we'll use the lightness fader. 
I'll put a mask over the new version of the image, like we did before. And then, duplicate the image guided generation modifier ready to use the new inputs. I'll hide this layer for a minute. Then, generate new outputs with that new really clear typography. Wow! They're looking great! Let me see which one I want to use. You can now really see the white much clearer, and it looks much more 3D too. Let's add some finishing polish and then get this exported. A sharpen and the vibrance modifier will help it pop even more. And a very quick tweak with an exposure modifier. Perfect. All done. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more modified tutorials.